I, I, I was guilty. I was, I was guilty. I'm just giving you my testimony, young man. I have made peace with God. I have peace. I have peace and I want to share what God has done in my life. Is there anything in your life? See, what do you trust in? I trust in Jesus. I have confidence. I have confidence in Jesus Christ who is God. I have confidence. What is your confidence in? Is you, are you trusting in your education? Are you, are you trusting in the economy? Are you trusting in Obama? Are you, are you trusting in money? Are you, you trusting in knowledge? I mean, what do you put your trust in? What is your confidence in that you are immovable, that you will not change, you're not moved, because your confidence is in that which is sure, which is true, that which is truth. Well, I have confidence, and I trust in Jesus Christ. I have faith. I have an unshakable confidence in the character of God. I have met God and met his character. God, Jesus Christ is love. Yes, I've experienced the love of God. My sins have been blotted out. I stand here innocent. I stand here not guilty. I stand here forgiven. And of course, I'm going to tell you about what he has done in my life. I'm going to tell you how he rescued me from hellfire. The justice of God was abiding upon me. God's justice. That means that he has to render to me according to my sin. I used to lie. I know I'm a lie. Whether you want to say it. Unless you repent, you will perish. You will go to hell serving an angel. Satan is an angel. He's not all-knowing. He's not hanging out with you. He does not care about you. I'm talking about the Almighty. He's hanging out with me. Oh. Oh, no. We worship God in spirit and in truth. He is spirit. And he is the one that reveals, convicts. He is the one that changes. Praise him. Praise the sinner. Oh, hand join in hand. The wicked will not go unpunished. You guys can all join in. And you can, you can chant. You can chant you're great. You look cool. You got the jacket. Oh, you got it all. But on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment, Everything will lay bare. Shame, 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 shame. You know it is shame. You know it is wrong. You know it. But you justify yourself. You got the praise of men. You guys love the praise of one another. You're more concerned about what others think of you than what God thinks. You're more concerned about your, your feelings and how you feel than what God thinks. I'm telling you, you have no fear of God. Boo, boo, boo. Ugly, wicked, stinky, nasty. Nothing lady, no lady. It is like tramps. It is gross. What girls do together is sick and vile in the sight of God. Sick and vile. Of course I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to tell you that God looks favorably towards lesbians. I'm not going to tell you that God looks favorably towards sodomy. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Did you forget about that? Did you forget about God's anger? Oh, I tell you, I tell you, if there were if there were two men in the beginning, none of you would be here. Just two sodomites loving each other in the garden. The Bible says, "To you, sexual activity." Yes, you get herpes. You get herpes. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Herpes. And come on, the, the latex condom has little holes. You know how. You know what? Yeah, I know it does. Micron. Yes, I learned this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It will not protect you from a venereal disease. Oh, what has happened to you? You are crying out to be loved. You are crying out to be loved. And only Jesus Christ can love her in the way that she can need to be loved. This is not love. Only Jesus Christ. If you love her, then tell her the 
truth. Tell her the truth. This is not good. This is not a lady. This is not special. This is this is common. This cheapens yourself and makes me grieve that she's hurting inside and that she decorates her body for the praise of men. Look at me. I'm different. I'm something. I'm I don't care. I'm ass. I don't care. I'm men. It's sad. You're hurting inside. No, I'm you need to be loved. Inside. No, you don't. I never. I have never met a happy homo. I have never. They are a shame. You're not. With, you can smile and stand amongst so your peers, now. but when you're all by yourself, there's shame and guilt. Yes. 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 No, no. Then you eat. Then you eat and you become overweight. I have a lot of happy. No, they're not happy. No way. The wicked have no joy. The wicked have no peace. The wicked have no rest. Hey, you're gonna talk. Where, where in the Bible does Jesus condemn homosexuality? Can you point that out for me? Yeah, it's in 1 Corinthians. I just read it. Read it. Look it. I, I want to read you what God thinks about homosexuality. You, you, I know. God has revealed what he thinks about homosexuality. He demonstrated because God has revealed himself in the judgments that are known. God in his name, Yahweh, Elohim, Adonai. God has demonstrated who he is. And guess what? God, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. God gave us an example. I mean, it is wrong. It is bad. It is unclean. It is filthy. Yes. You're supposed to take go to the restroom. You know the stench that the feces. Do you understand? It's not a clean thing. I love that smell. Oh, you love I love it. I crave it. No, that is sick. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong. I think you've invited demons into her life. She's invited demons. That which is demonic. She has brought into her life that which is perverted. Really? She is she is hiding. Yeah, but you don't stick your face in it. You don't stick your face in it. Oh, it's wicked. Nasty. Thank God. Oh, that's sad. It's sad. The hand joined in hand. Do you have a home? Oh, the hand joined in hand. No wonder the wicked are destroyed. Man, God in his love stretches out his hand to you, willing to forgive you, cleanse you, change you, not to live so wickedly, not to live so selfishly. And God says, I will forgive. But guess what? Oh, yeah, I do. It's Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. My cunt, my sweaty cunt gets fucked all the time. And I feel great. No, when you get a venereal disease and do you have, you know how many girls out here have herpes? How many of you have herpes? Let's, oh, you won't raise your hand. You won't raise your hand. You won't raise your hand. I've Even been if you did, five years, never got a disease. Oh yeah, Not yeah. One. The consequences. Multiple problems. Oh, wow, Not the consequence. One Not one. Oh, like you're proud of that. I am proud of that. And what a. And why would you cheapen yourself multiple partners? It's not want, special anymore. It's not sacred. It it's not good. romance. It is sacred. No, no, you're covering Have wounds you and scars. A punch oh man, no, it's wrong. You don't know. It's, it's wrong. Right. It feels so right. No, it's wrong you though. You don't live by feelings. Right. When you stand before God, don't, you stand before don't truth. Do that truth. Pleasure. Oh, don't listen to her. If you follow her way, it'll lead you into hell. 
If you follow Jesus' way, it'll lead you into life and eternal life. This woman needs to find a real man, a man that'll lead her, love her, romance her, listen to her, oh, guide her. And look, look what has happened. You have rejected God's way and you have gone Lucifer's way. You have rejected being a slave of righteousness and now you're a slave. You're a slave to your sin. You're a slave to your loss. You're a slave. Oh, do you not see? Do you not see? She has no. For your fake hypocritical prophecy, I will do not deny myself of anything that I want because you think it's wrong. Oh, I know the consequences. There are consequences. There are consequences. You don't get to do whatever you want, whenever you want, and think there are no consequences. There are consequences. Are there consequences? This has been positive. No, but you don't see. You don't see the end. You don't see the end. She says all the consequences have been positive. They're not positive. Look what you look like. Look what has happened to you. Oh, it's sad. She's marked her body. She's marked her body all up. She didn't like herself. She had to alter it. She had to change it. Oh, it's sad. What is that? Man, that would be painful. Would not that be painful to have your underarm with a bunch of needles put through it? Was she high? Were you high? Were you high when you got that done? Sad. Sad. You. Oh, I tell you, I have joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Joy. Jesus Christ has forgiven me. I have peace. I have a hope. I have a future. I have a destiny. I inherit all things. I enter into paradise. Christ is my savior. I received mercy. I received his favor. I received his goodness. His goodness has come to me. His goodness. Oh, did it hurt? Did it hurt? I said, what you will go through just for marking your body, the pain you will endure for the praise of men, you will tattoo anything. Oh, I'm sad. 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 Not right. It's not right. God made you. If he wanted you to have a tattoo, he'd put it on. He made you fearfully and wonderfully. God Thing is, is you don't like yourself. You don't like yourself. No, she does. Actually, actually, in a way, she loves her down self to death. My mom was an Iron Maiden groupie, and Bruce Harrison And look what it's for. I was made by lust and metal. That is how I was made. Is this normal? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. You call this? You're, you call. You call to bring in her home to mom and say, look, this is going to be my future wife. And she does that violation. I don't believe in marriage. I ain't nobody's future wife. Monogamy is not natural. So fuck it. You're hurting inside. I really weep for this young woman because she is crying out for her identity. She's crying out to find who you are. Yes, within. You know who you are. You're a lesbian. Well, actually, I like dick too. Oh, so, so you are, you are vile. I like everything. Okay, so when you stand before, when you stand before God, when you stand before God, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? I'm going to say, send me to hell where the bad niggas at. Because I'm trying to get my ass shaking all like that. And I'm like, I'm you, she does not understand the seriousness of her words. But I pray that God tonight will speak to you and that you will see, because this is exactly who Jesus Christ came, exhibit. One that's twisted and perverted herself. But then God will change her, and she, oh, she will be an example of a miracle working power of God. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to love it. I'm going to come back and she can say, yes, what's your name? What's your name? My name is... It's all right. God already knows it. God doesn't know my Yes, he does. He already knows your name. But... No! People! 
I am concerned about your son.